Well, that was when I was a little boy, this one right here. You might not immediately recognize this Western North Carolina native, but with one phrase. You sure have got a pretty mouth, that's what you're talking about. He got a little pretty mouth, ain't he? You know exactly who he is. The toothless man from the chilling 1972 classic, Deliverance. Clad in overalls with a pet squirrel by his side. He did love you, you know. Yeah. Herbert Coward, who goes by Cowboy, still looks the part, five decades following the movie's release. He got his start at Ghost Town in the Sky, performing daily shootouts at the Wild West themed amusement park. It's also where he got his nickname. Cowboy actually helped build the park and to his boss's benefit was a pro at operating bulldozers. And I run him and he'd say, ride him cowboy. When Ghost Town held auditions for actors, Cowboy saddled up. I pulled out a hammer and I said, I'm a gunfighter. They said, yes, you are. <laughs> At a dollar a day, the pay was low and the risk high. Cowboy performed all his own stunts. I got shot uh, one time for real and I had my teeth, I had my teeth knocked out of the pistol up there and my two front teeth. <laughs> and, uh, it's a pretty exciting place to work. His big break came thanks to then budding actor Burt Reynolds, who also worked at the Maggie Valley Mountain Attraction. Burt called me and he said, uh, you need to come over here. Oh, Cowboy's deliverance audition, about as rough as the character he played. So when the producer come in and asked me, uh, is that as mad as you can act? I said, what have you say? And when he said that, I grabbed him by the collar and knocked him against the wall. He said, you got to fuck. You're going to do some praying for me, boy. Alongside Bill McKinney. You better pray good. Cowboy gave life to one of the most disturbing scenes in Hollywood history, leaving many with nightmares to this day. <laughs> if you've ever done any praying, you better pray now. I say go. Basically, what's going to happen? His days playing the villain didn't end there. Cowboy also appeared in Ghost Town the Movie and Hillbilly Blood. Acting came naturally. Reading the script, not so much. Cowboy is actually illiterate. I write my name and that's it. How'd you learn your lines? Well, I had a little old tape recorder. They had put on there what mine was and I listened to it in my earphone. That's how I learned my lines. Don't say anything, just do it. Cowboy, one of the few surviving Deliverance cast members. Mountain Man Cowboy Coward. Just before Burt Reynolds died in 2018, Cowboy went to visit him. And he said he, he only had three friends in his whole acting career, and I was one of them. I have a lot of memories with her. His acting days may be behind him, but Cowboy is very much still a character. I do the best I can with what I got. The 83-year-old, now recovering from a knee replacement, Looking forward to his upcoming birthday. I'm a talking to you. No more hillbilly horrors in the works, just a peaceful retirement in the backwoods of Haywood County. What would you want your legacy to be? That I've been good to everybody. I enjoy life the best I can. Hannah McKenzie reporting. Because I look at it like the Lord's been good to me. News 13.